Oh man, you guys almost missed out on your on your daily intake of vitamin orc. That's right. It's time for the spinny adventures of uh around the body cam. And by that, I mean it's time for the tale of Ugar Gromalab, officially named Tale of Ugar. Which uh yeah, so uh fun fact. This is my second day recording this thing. That's right. Episodes one to eight, all recorded in one playthrough. No, I'm serious. Like, I was just having so much fun. I'm probably going to have even more fun today. It's just, it's exciting. I've I've never felt this way before. I really got to thank the people who actually bother watching this. So, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to do, uh, this is actually just going to be an audio test for a moment, because I don't know if this is actually working. I don't know if Things have kind of been mucked around since yesterday, so, uh, yeah, uh, be prepared for a couple of blur fades. Uh, so, yeah, bingo bango. Okay, everything seems to be in order, so, uh, no more audio tests. Uh, yeah, I guess you guys didn't really get to hear that. Anyways, um, so, uh, I'm going to start off in the morning, uh, by listing off a few fun things that I did last night for this, uh, this project, because as I said, this is my first Let's Play, so uh, I'm learning. I'm really learning. Who, who the hell is this guy? Is this Clavicus File? He looks like a kid. And again, he's got elf ears, so he's probably not Clavicus File, and he's missing the dog. <laughs> when again, he was missing the dog in Skyrim, so that's probably not... And they don't really put Daedric Shrines in the middle of nice little quaint towns like Leowin. But anyways, as I was saying, um, <clears throat> I actually had to go out and verify my YouTube account last night because uh, apparently they don't let you upload anything longer than 10 minutes. Be wary of that if you want to do your own Let's Plays. So, Hello instead there. of going back and re-recording this because I felt I had so much nice stuff, I actually went out and did one of the big no-nos in my life, which is give out my cell phone number to an internet company, which I barely know. <laughs> Fun fact. Fun fact. Anyways, so, uh, where were we in the quest log? Uh, what was in my quest backlog? Let me try and think here. Uh, so, gotta do that thing for the orc lady. She wants me to find the Argonian. Uh, what's his name? His name is... Jeez, what is his name? Uh, his name... Orc name is Zoga. Wants me to find Weebum Na. <clears throat> so, gotta find Weebum Na. That's, that's first on the list. Second on the list... If I know that I need to go up to, uh, what was that name, uh, Wolf, what was it, Rowley Eardwolf, at the Wanit Inn just outside the Imperial City, because I need him to refit my, uh, that super secret Sithis sanctuary that's in the, sw that's in the Swampland. Hi there. Because he's, uh, he's, a uh, I don't know, he's gonna, he's gonna make it pretty. So, uh, without further ado, let's begin. Usually, I'm, I mean, this, this is just my personal experience, but usually when you're looking for someone in an Elder Scrolls game, best place to start is the inn. So, let's see, are any of these people weaving This scent is that's foul. Oat, that's oatmeal. Um, hello? The prey approaches. There's Darjee. Welcome, hey. stranger, to the five. Welcome to the five gives uh, you her that's great. I'm looking for someone. Everyone's talking about the ist. I don't care. I understand the fighters. Okay. So much dirt, so much dirt and so little time. time. Well, that's what a moment Pause, you'll be drowned in a tide, trash, and mud, dust. We all love <clears throat> Count Marius and his father before yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arke and now his new wife. <laughs> so beautiful. Wow, these people, so fine. This is really unusual. And so she knows just I mean, how the county should be run. This Lady is, Alicia uh, yeah. tells. But listen to me. This is, it's, it's, it's kind Good of day. nice to see this sort of thing, like, I'm just going to take a side note here, but, uh, I've played the three, I, I guess you? people will consider them to be the three big games of the Elder Scrolls series, which are Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim. Played more Oblivion, uh, sorry, played more Morrowind and more Skyrim than I played Oblivion. Uh, never got the chance to play Daggerfall, my brother played it, but anyways, um, <clears throat> I've always loved to see it's sort of the development of the Argonian race, the tensions that are that are placed on the race throughout the series. Like in the first one that I played in Morrowind, 
and they're all slaves. They're slaves to the Dunmer, to the Dark Elves, because, you know, Black Marsh is just down there, and it's kind of a savage place, so nobody really minds when House Lalu goes down there and it's like, Hey, we need some slaves to help build our magical temples. Let's use these lizards. And nobody stops them. Even though House Lalu is really allied with the, the Imperials at that point, uh, nobody really steps in to make things right. So, the, Argon the Argonians and really the Kaji as well, and in some orcs, kind of get screwed over by the, uh, by the Dark Elves. And then, uh, where the hell is he? Weave him not. I can honestly not find this guy. Is that him? Is that him? I'm gonna go talk to him. I'm gonna keep talking. Anyways, and then in Skyrim, you find notes uh, indicating that after Red Mountain in Morrowind and Vardenfell was destroyed, after the Ministry of Truth, that big, what is it now? that big, you know, G again, that big giant uh, floating rock, the Ministry of Truth, which was a prison in uh, in Vivek City, which is actually an asteroid that the that the God Lord Vivek stopped in time. Uh, me children are starving. Wow, you are such a please <laughs> help. Oh. And I have to look at that. Also, I'm, I apologize for hiccuping. Anyways, continuing my story. Uh, in Skyrim. The Argonians are just, they've gone completely genocidal maniac mode and are killing everyone, all the Dark Elves, because, well, you know, after decades and decades and decades of mistreatment under the Dark Elves' watch, uh, they have finally decided that it's time for revenge because the Dark Elves now no longer have a home. So, it's nice to see this point in between the two, where in Oblivion, the Argonians aren't treated as monsters, and they aren't seen as murderers. Cause, like, this is this is a nice town, and the thing is, is that it's a it's an official imperial town. This isn't this isn't some backwater little little you know shanty town that's in the middle of nowhere. Like what Hack Dirt? I remember I was going there earlier. Hack Dirt. I may have to Hello. stop by there. It might be fun. Who's this guy? Is this guy special? Decentius Op Opsius. You're not decent. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, this is Leowin, and it's just filled with Argonians. I'm sure there's some story reason behind that that I don't know yet, but maybe I'll find that out in this playthrough. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I look forward to it anyways. So. <sighs> back to finding Weevum Na. Uh, <clears throat> where can I find Weebum Na? Wait, what? So... Oh, there's- a, I actually have waypoints in this game, okay. I didn't know that, they, did, they didn't give you that in Morrowind. They didn't give you any way, real way of navigating where you had to go, you just had to read the quests really carefully. And then in Skyrim, there were always the quest indicators of where to go. <clears throat> Not that I always used them, because I would mess up quite constantly with those. Can you spare a coin? I can't spare a coin, man. I know you're a pirate lizard, but, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry for wandering around. This this, this is the first episode of the day, so... <laughs> I'm, uh... Yeah. Still getting back into the swing of things. Oh, 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 we're getting close. We're getting close. He must be in his house right here. Yo! I hope I don't get in trouble for going in here. It's probably just gonna try and kill me. Hello? Hello? Oh. How are you? How are you? Greetings to you. Oh, okay, you're a hunter guy. Okay. I'm Wee Bum Na. I can tell. Um. Was so, orc? an orc yes. wants to see me, <clears throat> and this interests me how. Did I forget how much I like you, so I sh uh. Maybe I just don't like you very so I'm gonna have to. What? Am I gonna have to do this? Oh, oh boy, oh boy. I um. Hmm. Well, here goes nothing. Uh. No, you do me too much. What a great story! Yeah. You're oh. a vote. Oh, Is I'm that not so? Very funny, apparently. Okay, so uh. No, you get away from. I wish. You're wasting your breath. I'm wasting my breath. Is that so? No, you do me. Really? Not funny. Uh, Not even a little. You're I'm revolting. Really bad at this. Oh, 
please. Really? <laughs> You're revolting. Well, oh, please. <laughs> That's just. Mm, I'm just gonna bribe I'll, I'll, right. I'm with <laughs> you completely. <laughs> This I probably see. sounds terrible so an orc in audio. named Mazoga wants to see. I don't know her. I never learned, I never learned anything smart. by being smart. And you seem uh, to be a... Okay, so, so I guess I'll have to go see what this... Alright. Well, uh, let's follow this. See what happens. Because I... Uh, once more, like, I've... I, I wouldn't say that I've done very little in Oblivion. But I've definitely been neglecting side quests. Like, I've done all of Shivering Isles. All of Shivering Isles. I know that there's maybe one or two things that I missed. But that's about it. It's probably one of the most completed DLCs or expansions that I've ever played. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sh I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I mean, Mazoka could try to kill him. Mazoka could ask me to kill him. Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, I may want to have this drawn, because a fight may break out. If there's one thing I know, it's that orcs will... It's not necessarily that orcs are aggressive in uh, in the world of Elder Scrolls, <clears throat> even though I know they are. It's more because orcs have a tendency to follow their own path. Like, they don't use the same kinds of sense that any normal person would. And, uh, Argonians are kind of the same way. I mean, think about it. What did they do the first time they saw humans? They attacked them because they thought that they were, they were trying to steal their land. Uh, so yeah, uh, you heard it here first, folks. Argonians threw the first punch. I'm supposed to wait for him to go in first, aren't I? Alright. Here it goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up for this and watch. You want to speak to me? <clears throat> you are Weebamna? Yes. I want to go to Fisherman's Rock. Where's that? What? Fisherman's Rock is north of Leowin, about six hours' walk on a point of land on the eastern shore of the Nibbin. Take me there, now. I'm in a hurry. Why? That's my business. Uh-oh. Then, if you won't tell me why, I won't take you anywhere. Then to hell with you! Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, um... Why is everyone looking at me? Hey! Weebamna won't take me to Fisherman's Rock. Yeah, I just heard that. Also, I just realized you're blonde. Okay. Fisherman's Rock. Weebamna won't take me to Fisherman's Rock. Uh, you already said that. You you know where it is? Uh, uh, you know, I'll say yes just to get you out of here. Take me there. Uh, this guy, Mogan's, Mogan's Windshifter, wind he camps no, 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 at Fisherman's no, no, no. Rock. So you take me there, and I talk to him, and then we see... You hear me? I talk to him first. No smashing in his teeth or... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I am so tempted to say this. Could be. All right. You know how it is. But not until I'm finished talking. All right, I think I've made a friend. All right, all right, I understand. The Argonian says it's north of Leowin, about six hours' walk, on the east bank of the Nibbin. Should be pretty easy to find. Let's get moving. <clears throat> all right, so, follow get me. Get moving. What are we waiting for? This, uh, this could be something, and if nothing else, uh, she will die, and I will get all of her gear. Which isn't very notable um but anyways that'll be for the next episode so ladies and gentlemen uh thank you again for tuning in to the tale of ugar uh and mazoga i guess <laughs>